Yo, this is how to get straight A's. And if you're watching this video, you probably think that getting straight A's is unattainable. It's something magical, something beyond your level of understanding or education or smartness, intellect, whatever you want to call it. You have beyond your level of skill or talent, all right? I hate that word. But the truth is, there's only two things you really fundamentally need in order to get straight A's, all right? The first being the most important thing is you must forget about the grades, okay? Stop worrying about getting A's. Don't put grades on a pedestal, okay? I know there's so much pressure from society, from your parents, from your friends. It's competition between classes, your teachers. So many people basically just looking at your grades as a representation of who you are or what you are and how smart you are. Now, you got to get that, all that stuff out of your mind, okay? If the only reason you want to get good grades and straight A's is because of those reasons, it may work for you, but chances are it's not working for you or you wouldn't be watching this video right now. You can get straight A's and still not learn. The beauty here, the what I'm trying to cultivate and get you guys to understand is that you can get straight A's, but the most important thing is to learn. That's where it's really crucial. So the first step right here, you forget about the grades, all right? You literally have to care. You have to be curious. You have to have this insatiable hunger of curiosity that cannot be filled, satisfied. You need to want to look at the world and just ask questions. Just ask questions about everything. All right, and this specifically, if you want to talk about school and subjects, and okay, and your materials that you're, you're learning, if you're in high school and you have to take a certain amount of classes, and you have to take these classes, then I'm sorry. Yes, unfortunately, you have to go through those classes. There's no way to really opt out of it until you go to college, and then you can kind of choose your own path, but even then, you still have to follow a set curriculum. So the idea of only taking classes that you care about or that you want or that you're interested in is very delusional. You're going to have to take classes that maybe aren't necessarily your number one choices, but you don't have to make them your worst enemy either. So the thing is you have to be curious, all right? Without this factor of curiosity and wanting to learn and wanting to understand more about the world and life and seeing how this applies to your own life, like whatever it may be, biology, chemistry, economics, you can see it, you have to think about it, be in the mindset. Every time you sit down and do your homework or you sit, I mean, I'm not giving you guys techniques. I'm not, I'm not telling you like how to be good at your homework, how to do this. That's for another video. I'm telling you, if you haven't even gotten to the point where you even have the motivation to get up and do your homework, you probably haven't even tried. If you're watching this, you probably think that you've tried. You probably say to yourself, oh, I did study for that test and it's just hard, but there's a difference between sitting down and reading this book, this textbook, and just having things go in and out, playing on your phone here a little bit, and every once in a while memorizing maybe a fact or two, and really sitting down, putting your phone on silent, putting it away in your backpack uh, to, in a different room and not being distracted, and not checking Facebook and anything on your computer, and literally just seeing like, okay, let me take my time, I'm not gonna look at the clock. I don't even care about the clock because all I'm going to be doing is learning this material for its own sake. Now, I know that may be a little, a little unrealistic for a lot of people out there who think that, no, I just don't really care about it. I'm not that curious. Well, I'm sorry. If you want the good grades, then you have to care about it. You have to make yourself care about it. The only way to do that is to make it personal, make it apply to your life. That's the only way that us humans really find things important. I hate to say it, but really, it's the only way we really care about things is if somehow it applies to our lives, somehow it applies to us. We think it's not relevant. That's why we don't care about it. We don't see the immediate impact of how, of what it can do, what this knowledge can have on ourselves and our psyche and our entire being. So you have to find that connection, all right, somehow. That's number one. You got to care. You got to be curious. Stop worrying about the grades. Number two, this is kind of the technique aspect, okay? But if you haven't had the first one mastered, then don't even worry about this stuff because it's just going to cloud your judgment. It's just going to make things even harder. It's not even going to really work. Maybe a few things here and there, but you're not going to you're not going to reap the rewards of learning and getting straight A's. And when you get those straight A's, you're not going to really feel good about it because you're going to be like, "Wow, I didn't really learn anything." And even though it says straight A's, I couldn't even tell you one fact about that class. All right? So the number two is the technique side. Here it is. You got to treat the classroom as a game, all right? Everybody's played some kind of game, Super Smash Bros, Zelda, whatever, man. Okay, it doesn't matter. RPGs, Kingdom Hearts. Nah, man, I'm taking myself back to my childhood. <laughs> Need for Speed. But anyways, you treat the classroom as a game, okay? 
And what I mean by that is you need to know what resources you have available. The most obvious resource is your teacher, okay? Then you have the book, then you have your classmates, then you have your parents, then you have your friends, you have all these people around you, you have the internet, all right? You have Khan Academy, which is an awesome freaking site and it's free. You can go check it out and just learn so much awesome stuff, all right? You have to know all the resources, all these tool, uh, tools on your tool belt that you have in order to succeed in this class because it is like a game. Half of it is, know is knowing the knowledge, yes, but the other half, it is also following the teacher's rules. The teacher is the, the rule setter. He's the one who created the game. You have to follow his rules. I hate to say it, but that's just the way it is. I would say the first thing you should do is talk to your teacher. Get to know your teacher. People always see their teacher as something evil or something that they don't want any connection with but no screw being a teacher's pet screw what other people say about you if you want to get the straight A's then you got to do these things okay go talk to your teacher show them that you're interested okay that alone goes so far you don't even you can't even know I'm not saying they're gonna manipulate your grade and give you a better grade than you deserve but it's when they grade your stuff they'll be thinking you know this person came and asked me a bunch of questions like let me see how much he's improving they're gonna want to help you out even more all right, so go talk to your teacher, make friends with them. If you absolutely hate them, okay, fine. That's where you cross out that resource and you say, what other resources do I have? This book, for example, okay? So the first thing, like I said, go talk to your teachers. That's the most important. Make friends with them. Go in study groups. If you feel like you work better in groups, then do that by all means, all right? Find a couple friends, but don't just mooch off of their work. Have something to contribute. And this goes back to the being curious. If you're naturally curious and you're wanting to learn this material, then you will put in the time it takes to study that on your own time. And then when you go in with these group meetings or these group classmate discussions, whatever it may be, you're going to have something to contribute and you're going to feel good about yourself. But you guys are also going to be helping each other out, all right? It's a building process. I started with C's. C's and D's, all right? Like I had maybe an A here or there, like in PE or something, but I didn't really care. I was like, why? I can, I can slide by with C's. I didn't see the benefit it had for my life. But once I made that paradigm shift and I said, no, screw this, this is important. And it really only came in college, I hate to say it, and it really only came like last year in my life. Literally, I remember having this environmental economics uh, class, right? First economics class I ever took. And uh, basically, I got a 50%, I think I got a 51% on my midterm, and the class average was 52. So already there, I was like below average on such a low average, it sucked. I felt horrible. I, I walked home that day. I remember walking home from school, uh, from that class after I got my midterm, and I was crying. I literally had my, head, my hoodie up, my headphones on. I was crying, not out of sadness, but out of frustration and anger. I cannot explain to you how angry I was, how disappointed and disgusted I was with my own performance. And I had studied for this test too. I told myself, I studied for this. That's another thing that made me upset. And then I realized something clicked in my head. I was like, if I'm gonna go to school, if I'm gonna be here in college paying my money, uh, well, luckily my, my parents are helping me out, but regardless, and parents' money, my money, somebody's money is being spent on this. I'm not gonna put that a waste. I was like, either I drop out or I start kicking ass in school. One or the other. I can't do this half-ass bullshit where I'm saying to myself, like, okay, you know, C's are okay, you know, a B, yeah, sure, I'll take a B, you know. No, none of that. Literally, I had to make a paradigm shift, and for that moment, I came back from my final exam, and guess what I got? An A. My teacher apparently was really proud of me. This is just something I heard from, from another teacher of mine, but, you know, that doesn't matter that he was proud of me. What's most important is I was proud of myself because I had busted my ass after that. I literally, literally studied so much, but it wasn't. It didn't feel like studying to me. It was just like something clicked, and I got it, and I understood. Be curious. Treat the the game as a video game. <laughs> Treat the class as a video game. I'll leave you guys on that.